Welcome to Cinematic Conversations. It's a great pleasure to have Alasat Malinga, who does not need any introduction at all as part of the Cinematic journey. Uh, Alasat, uh, it's so nice to have you. Uh, I'm also part of the big fan club that you have across the world. HCL has had a, a uh, has been having a great uh, innings in uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, we have been um, uh, there for over one year right now, and we are indeed very honored to have you as part of the first year celebrations. Thank you so much, uh, Lasit. Cricket is the best game which can talk about the teamwork. Um, you have been working with people from different uh, backgrounds, uh, different nationalities. Um, you have played uh, along the side of Mumbai Indians. You have been uh, with the Sri Lankan team uh, playing in the soil of many other countries. Uh, you've been in IPL where you have worked with countries, uh, con uh, with people from different countries. Can you help us with some tips as to how to work with people from different backgrounds, different cultures? Yeah, thing is, uh, most of the people think uh, when we go somewhere, we, we can meet uh, different culture, different language, then uh, sometimes first few hours or first few minutes we are very scared to know, like we are nervous to join it together because we didn't have any experience which kind of mindset they have. Most of the thing, uh, very importantly, we have to listen, we have to get patience, then they will open. That's why I learned in uh, IPL also, we have uh, so many players, they have a different uh, skills. But in, uh, in the match situation, we have to be all together and uh, we have only one one way we have to go. That's mean uh, winning the match show, the same like company, we have a different people, they have a different capacity with uh, working or knowledge or thinking then uh, we have to be together everyone language doesn't matter you have to tell what you have feelings our thinking is very important if we pass the your message other people then they will also understand uh, that's the attitude when i went there 2008 because of uh, i'm a young cricketer I didn't have much experience to share with my knowledge all the other foreign players but still I am really happy to work with them because I want to listen I have patience other thing is we can't look at others weakness we have to focus our strength to how we put our strength to the our game why it is important to work hard and be there at the top think okay i am good enough to handle that situation and handle that uh, scenario what they are expecting for me then we have to work hard and uh, sometimes yeah yes when we play ipl we know actually we get money match fee or something like that yes but I have to perform myself to be there uh, in top. That's why uh, if I perform well, all the world cricket recognize myself or oh, he is the match winning player. Same like company. If we, they put their 100% their job, then inside the company or like inside the management, they realize this is the hard worker. They, they, he need to learn. Everything is confidence, but we can't give confidence to others. They have to build their confidence with work with others. If we do their best, then they will build their own confidence. Lasset, thank you so much because it's not something that you will open a book and read a page from the book. It seems to be a page from your own experience, which I think will benefit a whole lot of youngsters uh, who are looking forward to work in HCL Lanka. The next step is you've become a coach and especially in an IT scenario where every day the technology is changing. So 
I can not only be a team player, but I also should become a coach to start uh, working with the teams below me, right? What are some tips to become a coach? And how do I, as a team player, progress to become a team lead? We have to understand each one, every, each, every player, their skill, their strength and their weakness. Then we know exactly the situation come, which player I can use that situation to handle. That's mean you have to look at all 360. That's mean you know exactly around you who are there, what their capacity. Then we can give that responsibility for him because we have that uh, faith he can do that job. Coach have to listen, others think. They didn't count how many wickets I got, how many records I had. They know their strength. We are we have to support to develop their skills to get their maximum then i know exactly my team and my goal and my expectation is high and they can achieve and uh, coach have to be a calm and uh, behind them to give confidence everything is happened confident you can do that because of you have that strength, this is the weakness. If you, you if you want to get that your way, you have to use your strength. But think twice, which kind of result you need. This is the way you can get that result. But if you try that way, but you get might be doubt. Then no point to go that way. Sometimes we know exact someone have some strength but we are not focused that strength that's mean strength same level we try to improve our weakness then both come same level now if you are strength you have you have to build top of the your ladder then try to build your weakness also there then you can perform well your strength amazing one is I do like to understand the strengths of my team members. At the same time, I know what I need to also invest in them to develop in parallel. Yes. So I use the strengths at the same time and investing in them to develop on what I would call is back foot. Right? Because yes. you also need the back foot to get your right master stroke. Right? All of us, if we concentrate only on the front foot, especially the on the from the batting capacity, you forget what the back foot can actually give you. Um, and we always lose out on that. So, you say a coach is the one who will also look at strengthening the back foot while leveraging the front foot of the person um, and build the relationship on trust and the confidence that you have in your team members, saying that you are doing very good, continue to do, but I'm there to support you from the behind. Um, fantastic. I think that's so important, especially when the teams in IT scenario we work very remote lesson there are people in sri lanka we have people our employees in the americas australia and in india working together so when you are working in virtual teams this trust communication listening and confidence the four pillars are so important for somebody to collaborate as a team because they're not physically present like most of the cricket team members in the playground it's a virtual playground. Um, it's on a lighter note, you know, I've been following your play also for quite some time. And especially in 2019, the four balls and four wickets. Yes. Right. So how is it helping you with uh, being a coach, getting into the analytics front right now, especially what you did uh, in South Africa? I do see there's a correlation between that moment of happiness, moment of celebration, taking a deeper insight as to how you achieved with what you're doing today. Um, tell us something about, about that feeling as well as your feel of today with the new avatar. As a player or individual, you have to understand your strength and weakness. That's me in cricketing field, we have only two batsmen. One is left hand, one is right hand. You have to choose your strength 
how you, how you can get out left hand how can you get out right hand then you have to realize which batsman you can use your all the wicket taking option right hand or left hand if you feel i have strength to get wicket right hand don't try to get out left hand you have to survive for that if you try to get that try to get left hand wicket might be they will damage you you have to wait and see the situation come you can use your strength sometime we are trying to use our strength before situation come very good yeah absolutely sometimes <laughs> because you want to prove a point too quickly that's the wrong thing to rush yes very yes. true um it's a little on your personal side which we like to also understand what's your uh, favorite uh, holiday destination actually the last 17 years i'm traveling uh, for the paid cricket then right. most of my 13 years i am in mumbai in this trident hotel <laughs> <laughs> then every uh, one and a half months so close to two months same room you can see the marine beach everything but uh, i'm really happy to stay in sri lanka because of that all the beaches and uh, nice place to visit and enjoy yeah i will join you to promote the island as well because it is beautiful and i want a lot of them in, including its seal customers to come so certainly i would advocate uh, 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 sri lanka what's your uh, favorite uh, cuisine in india butter chicken and butter naan <laughs> okay <laughs> but in sri lanka we are always uh, sub- supposed to eat like rice and curry uh, right. because of all the spices we can get it naturally right. then healthy i think uh, this is the two thing and two different countries you and i have rice and curry in common except that i eat more of vegetarian curry yeah, okay. all the spices that's why it's called cinematic journey give me tips for your youngsters in sri lanka to be goal focused and achieve in the coming years if you want to do something you have to focus 100 101% because uh, if you if you didn't have any happiness to do that you you lost your focus and you have to build your build your patience patience means we can't get it, get whatever we want in the one night we have to work hard work hard then you can achieve whatever you want to learn more time you listen you can get uh, more knowledge knowledge is very important as a young employee or whoever he need to get knowledge what's going on in the world in next day in future week next month and what what are the my targets how can i cover that if you get one thing success then you know how to be success you have to be stay your own way to success then you can achieve every single day whatever you want to achieve you have that confidence because you have that feelings how you achieve that then in future you can achieve whatever you want it such simple uh, tips and i think if they follow if all of us follow we are going to celebrate life every day like you have said i think it's most needed because amidst all this pandemic one thing we can do is to continue smiling and continue to smile and stay successful and uh, be goal focused so thank you so much it's thank you for talking to you